The long and winding road that leads to your door will never disappear. I've seen that road before. It always lead me here, leads me to your door. The wild and windy night that the rain washed away has left. In here, let me know the way. Many times I've been alone, and many times I cry. Anyway, you'll never know the many ways I try, and still they lead me back. Time ago Hope you enjoyed that song. The uh, song is titled "Long and Winding Road" uh, from the Beatles, or rather, written by Lennon McCartney. It was released in May 1970. I was 10 years old. <laughs> um, I when I first heard the song, I I just totally fell in love with it. Like when I was say, 11 years old, and um, we was we were like in our back then we were influenced by so many great music, but this is one song that's kind of stood out from the usual Beatles fare, like you know "Can Buy Me Love" and all those rock and roll stuff, the happy songs. This is one of the more um, poignant and, and, and melancholic song uh, that I've ever heard from anyone, you know, uh, let alone the Beatles. The other one that got me was Eleanor Rigby, which was to me a classic. But the long and winding road somehow spoke to my heart. Uh, even at a young, tender age of 11 years old. Uh, I guess it makes better sense these days because of the pandemic and uh, people were like torn apart because of the the pandemic and not being able to see each other. I've, I've got guys writing to me about, you know, how they miss the other half in the other half of the world and not being able to beat up with them because of flight restrictions and, and, and whatnot. And 
and I kind of like uh, thought about those who had lost their loved ones, you know, because of this COVID nineteen um, pandemic, and how they weren't able to meet the loved ones at the last uh, at the last stage, you know, the last hours on Earth. And that this 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 song kind of speak to me about all this, like the long and winding road that leads back to you. I guess our heart will always go back to home, you know, to uh, to to someone or to a place that we love, especially someone that we love. And I I I I get that all the time because when uh, I I travel overseas, I always think back of the ones that I leave behind. And whenever I get on a plane, you know, I, I will pray and, 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 and ask God to, 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 bring me home, to bring me home safely to my loved ones so that I can meet them again every single trip. And the places that I've been, you know, and the, the time that I spent overseas, uh, just waiting for me to come home. I, I, I feel the pain that some of you guys may be feeling because you're, 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 you're torn apart from your loved ones because of this whole situation right here. But eventually, the long and winding road will lead back to the one that you love. Uh, have faith in that. You know, uh, this pandemic will come. You know, this whole risk will will, will will be lessened and things will get better. Definitely will get better. You know, it, it must get better. And I'm praying to God that it will get better. So the long and winding road that leads back to your loved one is always there. Has always been there. And it's always been there for me. You know. So I thought this song um, speaks to me in volumes because of. Of the lyrics, the lyrical content. You know, it says, "Why leave me standing here? <laughs> no, why keep me standing here? Why keep me waiting here? You know, I want to I want to go home. You know, and sometimes I feel that way because, you know, there'll be like flight delays and, and stuff like that, or something happened. You know, I couldn't make my flight home, stuff like that. Yeah, so I thought I'd share this poignant song, this this wonderful, beautiful song with you guys, uh, with you all. You know, hope you enjoy it. Now, before I leave, let me tell you something about this recording. I actually did a cover of this song many years ago and it was just like vocals and guitars and backup vocals or a stripped down version because I love the song so much. But this time around I thought I got my friends, uh, some of my friends involved and one of them first up is Jerry, Jerry Chua who is a drummer, great drummer, he's a really great drummer right and a really good uh, studio engineer. So he's the one who did a mix for this song, the, the final version that you're hearing and he currently works in church. Uh, and uh, you also have a website, or rather a YouTube channel, right, uh, called Ben and Jerry, where he does uh, covers, a whole lot of covers with his, from his friends, right? And check it out if you want to. I'll just put a link in the description down below. Now, second up is uh, Thomas. Thomas is a, a, a good brother of mine. I mean, we know each other for many, many years, and we've gone through ups and downs in our relationships, you know, and he's... Uh, he's He's a great friend, a great brother to me, and I love him so much. So, uh, well, he plays the bass, in case you haven't noticed, this big, <laughs> this big teddy bear. The third up is uh, Howard. Now, Howard is from, originally from Taiwan, but now he resides in Beijing. You, you probably see him in a couple of my videos because he helped me up with some of the string parts. Uh, Howard is an accomplished arranger uh, in uh, based in Beijing, so he does a whole lot of, of, of film scoring sometimes and, and arrangements. So um, yeah, I, I just thought I, I, I get him involved because I really love some of his work, string works and, and stuff like that, his musicality. In fact, that's the reason why I got all of them involved, because of musicality, right? And as usual, if you like this uh, video, give me a thumbs up and join this channel, subscribe to this channel, be part of Patreon to support this channel. So like I said, it will only get better. So stay safe, take care guys, and God bless each and every one of you. Yeah, yeah, 